experiments need to be performed in a repeatable manner. An important way to help achieve this is to strive for both accuracy and precision in your pipetting. But what do we mean by accuracy and precision? In terms of pipetting, accuracy refers to how close we are to pipetting the required volume, while precision refers to how much variability there is between each aliquot we pipette. So how can we determine if our pipetting is both accurate and precise? We can check the accuracy and precision of our pipetting gravimetrically. That is, we can weigh what we pipette. Water has a specific gravity of 1. This means that 1 mil, or 1,000 microliters, is equivalent to 1 gram, or 1,000 milligrams. To check the accuracy and precision of your pipetting, pipette some water into a weigh tray on a tiered analytical balance. Repeat this three times and record your results. The average will give you an estimate of the accuracy of your pipetting. The standard deviation will indicate the level of precision. Repeat this procedure for the maximum and minimum volumes for each pipette that you use. After doing this, you can calculate the percentage accuracy and the coefficient of variation for each set volume. You should expect less than 1% error in accuracy at the higher volumes, uh, that is volumes greater than 100 microliters, with a coefficient of variation of less than 0.5%. At about 5 microliters, accuracy will drop to about 3% and the coefficient of variation to about 3% also. If you see a much greater error than this, have a demonstrator check your pipetting, as it may indicate poor technique but it may also indicate the pipette needs maintenance or recalibration. Since the pipettes you use are in frequent and constant use by students in other classes, it is a good habit to routinely check the accuracy and precision of your pipettes gravimetrically.